Hello, welcome to Ninja's Pharmacy Film Studios. This video is on an antibiotic called superfloxacin. Superfloxacin is a quinoline antibiotic and it works by killing the bacteria that are causing the infection. It does this by entering the bacterial cells and stopping the bacterial enzyme called DNA gyrase. This enzyme is involved in replicating and repairing the genetic material of the bacteria. If this enzyme doesn't work, the bacteria cannot reproduce or repair themselves, and this kills the bacteria. <coughs> so ciprofloxacin is usually taken twice a day, every 12 hours. Even if you feel your infection is cleared up, keep taking the antibiotic until the course is finished unless you are told to stop by your doctor. This is to prevent the infection from coming back. A course of treatment usually lasts for about a week, although it can range from three days to 28 days. If you still feel unwell after finishing the course of treatment, go back to see your doctor. So how to get the most from your treatment? Ciprofloxacin may cause your skin to become more sensitive to sunlight than normal. So it's best to protect your skin by using a sunscreen, particularly if you're exposed to strong sunlight for a prolonged period of time. And do not use sunbeds. If you buy any medicines in a pharmacy, check with a pharmacist that they are safe to take with this antibiotic. In particular, do not take painkillers called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as Nurofen, while you are taking superfloxacin. Some people develop thrush, which is a redness and itching in the mouth or vagina, after taking a course of antibiotics. If you think you have thrush, speak with your doctor or pharmacist for advice. So this antibiotic may stop the oral typhoid vaccine from working. If you are due to have any vaccinations, make sure the person treating you knows that you are taking this medicine. Ciprofloxacin may make you feel a little lightheaded and impair your ability to concentrate. Make sure your reactions are normal before you drive or use tools or machines. If you have diabetes, you may need to check your blood sugar levels more regularly, as ciprofloxacin can affect the levels of sugar in your blood. So some of the main side effects of ciprofloxacin would be nausea and diarrhea. And ciprofloxacin should be avoided in pregnancy. However, a single dose of ciprofloxacin may be used for the prevention of a secondary case of meningococcal meningitis. In breastfeeding, the amount is too small to be harmful, but the manufacturer advises against it, so unless the doctor says otherwise. For interactions, avoid use with other drugs known to prolong the QT interval, and don't take them with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. The drug must be discontinued if psychiatric, neurological, or hypersensitive reactions occur. So you store in a cool place and dry place away from direct heat and sunlight. If you have any questions, you can contact me through the Life Virtual Pharmacist on the website or email me or ring the pharmacy in Broaddale or simply call in. Thank you for watching.